Let me show you a quick way to identify which domain controller holds any of the Active Directory operations masters. To get started, open a CMD window on a domain controller and type the following command. There are five operations masters in the domain, and as you can see here, all of them are running on DC1. Please subscribe. In my scenario, I am adding another domain controller to this domain and would like to transfer these roles to the new server. Please note that I am transferring the roles and not seizing them. This process can only be done if the current roles holder server is active. If the current roles holder server failed, you will need to perform a different procedure. There are several ways to transfer operations master roles. In this video, I am showing you a visual way, which doesn't require any complex commands. Start by opening the server manager, click Tools and then Active Directory Users and Computers. Make sure that you are connected to the domain controller to which you want to transfer the roles. Right-click the domain name and click Operations Masters. Here are three of the five roles you need to transfer. Here is the current owner of this role and here is the target domain controller. Make sure the information is correct and click Change. Verify your choice and click Yes. Click OK to close the success message. The same actions need to be performed for the PDC and the infrastructure roles. Click the tab, verify the current role holder and the target, click Change and verify. Click Close after all three have been transferred. This leaves you with two more roles. You can close Active Directory Users and Computers, click Tools and click Active Directory Domains and Trusts. Verify that the target domain controller is chosen here, right-click it and click Operations Master. From here, you can perform the same actions as you previously did to transfer the Operations Master role. Verify the source and target servers. Click Change, verify again and close. To transfer the last role, open a CMD window and type this command to register the schema management DLL. This DLL is not registered by default. Click OK to close the success message. Type MMC to open the Microsoft Management Console. Click File and click Add Remove Snap In. Choose the Active Directory schema here, click Add and click OK. Make sure the target server is selected here. If it's not, like in this case, right click and click Change Active Directory Domain Controller. Click here, choose the target domain controller and click OK. This message basically tells you that the selected server doesn't have the schema role and you will not be able to perform any changes to the schema. Click OK to proceed. Right click here and click Operations Master. And just like before, verify the target server, click Change, Verify and Close. Now all that's left to do is go back to the CMD window and run the query command to verify the new owner of the roles. If you like this video, you should watch this video next.